Dear participants of the conference, we bring to your attention the results of our research on the topic Formation of National Self-Consciousness of Future Musical Art Teachers in the Process of Their Professional Training. Modern educational policy considers its strategic priority the formation of a nation. An important role in the formation of such a nation belongs to a higher pedagogical education, to the musical pedagogical education in particular. New social, economical, political and cultural realities require a review and updating of methods, forms and means of music teachers' training. These teachers should meet the demands of our modern civil society. In our opinion, this is the reason why higher educational institutions should become the center of formation of national self-awareness of future musical art teachers. Here, at this institution, every teacher should focus not only on teaching, but also on his educational work because teaching and education are a holistic, syncretic pedagogical process. The analysis of the scientific sources shows that the simultaneous study of the phenomenon of national self-consciousness in philosophy, psychology and pedagogy contributes to the mutual enrichment of this science with new meanings and ideas, which affect their development. We can state that there is no established concept of national self-consciousness. Scholars constantly clarify and depend its content, depending on the social, economical and political processes that take place in the state. The scientists consider the formation of the national self-consciousness of future musical art teachers from different angles and aspects, but they have not yet built a holistic system of this phenomenon. The issue of the national consciousness does not lose and will not lose its relevance as long as the processes of the development of the Ukrainian state take place. The theoretical analysis of the problem of the formation of national self-consciousness of future musical art teachers made it possible to consider this concept as an integrative combination of three interconnected components. An information cognitive, an emotional and value, and a reflexive and activity. In our opinion, we should consider the national self-consciousness of future musical art teachers as an integrative trait of a personality. This trait involves mastering the system of general and special musical knowledge about the history, ideas, traditions, culture of their people, a clear patriotic position, awareness of belonging to a nation, reflection of emotional and value attitude towards the national music heritage, desire for creative self-realization in the professional musical activities. The organization of the experimental study involves, first of all, the diagnosis of the current state of national self-consciousness of future musical art teachers. We carried out this diagnosis with the students who learned at the Speciality Music Art at the Communal Higher Education Institution, Vinica Humanities Pedagogical College. For this purpose, we identified the criteria and we also developed the corresponding indicators, used a complex of empirical research methods to solve the research goals. Regarding the fact that the traditional content of higher music education does not provide the formation of national consciousness of future teachers of musical art of a high level, we think it's essential to update the content 
forms and methods of the educational process. And that was a very important component of our research. We aimed our activities at finding optimal ways to form the national self-consciousness of future music teachers in both learning and educational work. Our teaching experience shows that the modern student's knowledge of musical repertoire and folk rituals of the Ukrainians is very limited. That is why the teaching of subjects Ukrainian folk music and the folklore practical training named ethnomusic studying has an important impact of the formation of the student's national self-consciousness. In order to promote Ukrainian folk songs, the college has folklore ensembles, the repertoire of which consists of the folklore of the Podila region. The obligatory requirement of the subject voice production is a performance of a Ukrainian folk song a cappella, the obligatory performance of a work by Ukrainian composers, including contemporary Podila authors. The song repertoire for children which is also mandatory for students' performance, has changed radically in recent decades. Works of the Soviet era, its best examples translated into Ukrainian, are less and less studied. The educational potential of national folklore in the domestic piano literature is represented by a large independent section numerous adaptations of Ukrainian folk songs and dances. The program repertoire of choral conducting was also adjusted in order to restore. In addition to works of foreign choral classics, the repertoire was replenished with samples of Ukrainian folk songs and choral works of Ukrainian composers. The educational institution also initiated and launched annual workshops for teachers of music in the region. In this way, workshops promote the students' awareness of themselves as representatives of the Ukrainian nation and foster their sense of patriotism. We consider the project method, which one of the effective methods of forming the national self-consciousness of future musical art teachers. For example, students not only acted as researchers, but also tried themselves as bloggers in the project of the history of Ukrainian music. In order to communicate with young people in one musical language, the head of the women's choir, Salomia, offered students an experimental music project. The famous Ukrainian folk were performed in the academic manner, but with modern electronic dubstep support in the project. The students of the college launched several challenges, which involved students and teachers, vocal and choral groups. While studying the subject music pedagogy, students get acquainted with the history of musical and pedagogical education in Ukraine. They conduct research activities to study the work of Ukrainian composers and musicians. At the end of the formative stage of our experimental work, we conducted a control monitoring. Its results showed that the introduction into the educational process of the proposed content forms and methods of forming national self-consciousness of future teachers of musical art contributed to positive changes. The qualitative and quantitative results obtained in the course of the research 
allow us speak about the effectiveness and prospects of the proposed methodological aspects of the formation of the national self-consciousness of future teachers of musical art. Thank you for the attention.